Hello, I'm Mora. I work with the CCHN, with Claude and with Stephanie, and it's really good to be with you. Um, I work on the research and development team. Of course, as you already know, we're in Bosnia now. We're going later in the week heading to Serbia, and then we will eventually end up in Greece, all within two weeks. And even in Greece, we're going to different contexts, to Lesbos, to other places around the country, uh, and being able to be here firsthand, hear from people what is happening here on the ground really helps me do my work. So today is day two in Bihać. We had a really good stay uh, at our hotel, a good night's sleep, which was necessary because we've had a very busy day today. We started early uh, with a visit to Borici Temporary Reception Center. It's close to the city center of Bihać. We took a car, but you could easily walk uh, from the city center to the reception Hello, center. Good morning. We are just here at the gate of the Borici camp, which is close by Bihać, and we're trying to get in to go visit. Um, we've been invited by an organization called LAN, who take care of unaccompanied children. There are several um, of them uh, here in the region, and they are brought here for, you know, some educational program, and especially to keep them separate from the single adult but you know there seems to be a little bit of a problem to get in because you need authorization at different levels so we're just waiting for this but so far we had a lot of very very good meetings with uh, the Jesuit refugee uh, committee with uh, the Red Cross uh, with the various level of government so the mission is going very well so keep you posted. We had a tour of the facilities there um, and we also saw the services they are offering uh, for children and families that are in this reception center. So we returned to the city center where we met with the Red, with Red Cross colleagues who are doing work to support populations of people on the move and also the local community. It was very interesting and it's important what they are doing as we are now in October. We're heading into the winter months. Today actually this is the first sun we've seen. Since we arrived on Sunday it was very raining and cold and these conditions are only going to get worse as winter approaches. So learning about what the Red Cross is doing, how they are supporting both people on the move and local communities, uh, we could really understand why it is so necessary their work that they are doing here traveled 20 minutes up the mountain even a short while on a dirt road um, to the Lipa temporary reception center Lipa was very different from Borici reception center first of all it is for um, single men uh, and we got to see uh, the services at Lipa um, such as the community kitchen uh, saw where they were living and even saw the new site uh, that they are constructing there at Lipa to be able to provide more services for uh, more people on the move. So right now you are with us in the car, we are with our wonderful uh, driver and we are on our way to Sarajevo. It's going to be about five or six hours for us to drive from Bihać to Sarajevo uh, and then we will spend the evening there and tomorrow we will have more meetings. We will tell you more about this tomorrow. We cannot wait to check in and update you on everything we are doing. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed hearing about today. We'll see you from Sarajevo. Ciao.